Hey Zelda fans, this is Red from Two Guys Playing Zelda, and I'm going to take just a few minutes today to give you my rapid reaction to Nintendo's shocking reveal of the Breath of the Wild 2 teaser trailer during their E3 Direct presentation. I don't think it was necessarily a big shock to hear that Nintendo was working on a Breath of the Wild sequel, but I think the entire Zelda universe was surprised that we got to see a teaser trailer at this year's E3 Direct presentation. I honestly thought it would be next year at the soonest before we got any more information on the sequel, but all I can say is my, my hype level is through the roof. I am so ecstatic uh, just to get a little glimpse of what Breath of the Wild 2, or whatever they choose to name it, is going to look like. And the thing that jumped out to me the most, like right away from this trailer was just the dark tone. I mean, not only are you in a dark room, but you've got like this imprisoned skeleton there. You've got creepy music playing in the background. You've got malice in the room. You've got like this uh, spell green fog that's floating around. I mean, it is just a very uh, sinister and scary looking room, like something out of a horror movie. So to see, it looks, I'm hoping, that Breath of the Wild 2 takes on a darker tone, because I think that that really will help make it stand out from most Zelda games. I mean, I think Twilight Princess and Majora's Mask were both uh, very memorable because they did have that darker tone. Now, the scene itself that we see, just this, in, this skeleton that looks like it's imprisoned by a giant hand in the caverns it looks like underneath Hyrule Castle. I mean, it's just, it's such a cool scene and it honestly lends itself to just a ton of speculation as, as to who that skeleton was, what is resurrecting it, what is it doing there? I mean, and I think that that's how you know a teaser served its purpose. It's got Zelda fans just spitting rumors around like crazy and I love reading them up. But I mean, I do love the question, just who is this skeleton? that's getting reanimated. I mean, it's, it's kind of got some shades of Ganondorf. It's got like the, the jewel in the forehead. It looks like it's got some Gerudo symbols in the jewelry, and it looks like it kind of has a reddish tint to its hair. So the obvious choice is probably Ganondorf, but I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo threw a curveball and it ends up being someone, someone totally different. But it also raises the question of exactly who is resurrecting it. Is it some powerful sorcerer? Is it the malice itself that we see in the room? Or is it even the Triforce? You know, Ganondorf has had the Triforce of power throughout the almost the entire Zelda series. So is it the Triforce itself that is bringing this skeleton back to life? I don't know. But I'm so excited to find out whenever we get to play this game. Uh, another neat note from the trailer, I thought uh, just seeing Zelda traveling with Link um, I'm really hoping that that means she's going to play a bigger part of the Breath of the Wild sequel. I mean, she had such a minor role in the original Breath of the Wild. She was in all the flashbacks and the memories and things, but in terms of the actual game, uh, she didn't do a whole lot until the very end. So I'm hoping the fact that they show her traveling with Link, um, I'm hoping it means that she will have a bigger presence in this game. Now, whether that means uh, that it's a co-op opportunity and make it a co-op game, I think that'd be really cool as long as it doesn't detract from the single player experience because honestly even though yes we are two guys playing Zelda uh, we both normally just play on our own so uh, I personally would think the co-op would be a neat addition but hopefully it isn't something that's mandatory or something that detracts from the single player experience or maybe they could do it something like the Wind Waker where you had the sages that you could take control of for short periods of time and have them do certain things while they're traveling with Link um, I think that'd be a really cool mechanic as long as they don't make you play the stupid command melody or something like that every single time, I'd be okay with that. Um, and also the recent uh, God of War game had Atreus traveling with the God of, with Kratos the entire time and you had certain buttons that would command him to do certain actions. I think that'd be a pretty interesting way to, to uh, control Zelda uh, if she is indeed going to be accompanying Link in major parts of this uh, of this game. So, so we'll see uh, whether it's co-op or she's just a companion. I just hope that she's a little more involved in the game than she was in the original Breath of the Wild. Another thing that really excites me, near the end of the trailer, uh, we kind of get to see an outdoor shot of the world. It's got Hyrule Castle and everything, and it looks very similar to the Breath of the to the Hyrule that we got to play in Breath of the Wild. And I personally have always thought that the sequel, if it's using the same engine and, and the same arts graphics and everything, um, that it should just take place in the same world. I mean, the Breath of the Wild world is huge. It's amazing, but it, it also felt very empty and there wasn't a lot to uh, to motivate you to go exploring some of the more remote regions other than Korok Seas, which whatever. But I think by putting the sequel in the same world, it really gives Nintendo a chance to fill it up with with more dungeons. With maybe it's you know uh, maybe it's been built back up a little bit since the calamity. Just 
anything to to put more things in that world to explore, I would be 100% for. And speaking of that shot uh, of Hyrule there at the end, um, it also looks like we see Hyrule Castle like rising up from the ground, and that's first of all, it's such a great throwback to Ganon's castle in Ocarina of Time, which was suspended up above a pit of lava. So if this is going to be something like that, where maybe we have to somehow get to an elevated or, or a floating uh, Hyrule Castle to get to, to the big bad of the game, I think that would just be a really awesome concept, and I would be all for that. And like I said, it's just a great throwback to Ocarina of Time. So if there's any downside to this trailer, I would just say that uh, obviously we were not given a release date or even a year that the game might come out. We were just told that it is currently in production. Uh, knowing Nintendo, they will take as much time as they need and, and it might get delayed a few times uh, before it comes out. But if that means we get a better game when it does come out, then I am all for it. Nintendo, take as long as you want. So no matter what, no matter when the game does come out, all I can say is that teaser trailer did the perfect job. It has got me psyched, it has got me pumped, and it's got the entire Zelda universe talking about the Breath of the Wild sequel.